Have you ever wondered how P&G manages to get products into homes all over the world? This gigantic company has everything from beauty products to food. As customers, we are more aware of the carbon footprint that companies make when they produce and deliver goods. So, how does P&G make sure that its logistics operations are environmentally friendly? Procto and Gamble, or P&G, is raising logistic into its supply chain. Green logistic refers to the use of renewable energy in its operations and reduction of materials that cannot be recycled or decomposed naturally. So basically, PNG would use a set of sustainable policies that aim to reduce the environment impact. Green logistics? That sounds amazing. But what has PNG done to improve its logistics carbon footprint? First, this plans to prioritize cutting most of their emissions and for the ones that cannot be eliminated, natural or technical solutions that remove and store carbon will be sought. PNG sub brands like Head and Shoulders, Pantene, Aerial, Tide, and Pampers are working with its partners and suppliers to advance innovation in materials derived from renewable, bio based, or recycled carbon. Finally, PNG is leveraging renewable thermal energy by using geothermal, solar, and renewable steam at some manufacturing sites. Also, funding advanced innovation in materials derived from bio-based and recycled carbon and exploring carbon capture and storage. Wow, that sounds like a huge investment and a lot of research and development in green products. However, we know that companies are created to generate profit. How does P&G save its money through their environmental initiatives and logistic activities? Procter & Gamble has been working for a decade to improve its supply chain processes, focusing on optimization and helping to conserve the environment. So it is possible to save money, but optimization and in the long term, feel more profit by using renewable energy. From this point of view, the company has focused on improving its production processes thus helping to preserve the climate, water, packaging, and forests by recycling carbon. The company saves money on packaging and materials and can even reduce the cost of the final products. The operations are carried out with renewable energy, thus reducing the number of emissions generated. In this way, Procter & Gamble wants all its long-term packaging to be 100% renewable and reusable. Now it's clear that although P&G still doesn't have an answer on how to reduce emissions by 100% or net zero soon, the company will not longer let that uncertainty hold them back from looking into a solution. We can recommend a few alternatives to help them out. Instead of moving from diesel to natural gas, meaning jumping from one non-renewable energy source to another, the company should explore the possibility of having EV trucks. There are many more advances in electrical energy available to companies now. Information is key, and creating a relationship with customers could open an opportunity to work together towards this goal, providing customers with tools and information on how to small actions at home can make the world of a difference for the planet.